Hi, I'm Austin Goolsby, Chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors. You've probably been hearing a lot of back and forth about the economy, and it can be hard to sift through. So what I wanted to do today on the whiteboard is take a step back and just talk about where we've been over the last three years in the U.S. economy. What we have here are the monthly job losses and job gains in the private sector for every month over the last three years, from September 2007 up through September 2010. Now in 2007, we had followed a series of policies that had neglected making critical investments that we needed for the economy. The middle class had been squeezed like never before over the intervening years, and right here, in 2007, the recession begins. Over the intervening months, we then have catastrophic job losses that get worse and worse virtually every single month until they peak in January of 2009, the very month the president takes office, when almost 800,000 people lost their job in a single month. In the six-month run-up to when the president takes office, we lose more than four million jobs. And they're getting worse all the time. The president knew when he came into office that he was going to have to take immediate and bold action or we might fall down in a hole that we could not get out of. The president takes office in January of 2009 and within 30 days passes the Recovery Act. Now in the first 100 days of the Recovery Act, that gives tax relief to more than 110 million people, cuts taxes for small business eight different times, in that 100 days authorizes 3,000 transportation projects, starts on the path to improvement. Over the next several months, the Recovery Act continues a series of job-creating investments in many different areas that keep the job market improving. They include investments in transportation, in airports, in VA medical centers. It includes money that goes to the mayors and the governors so that firefighters and policemen and teachers don't lose their jobs. And it includes investment in the industries of the future, like advanced battery factories, broadband technology, the smart grid, and a series of things like that, which bring us up into 2010. And it doesn't stop with the Recovery Act. Already this year, the president passes the Hire Act, which gives specific incentives for companies to hire people who've been unemployed for a period of time, and gets through the Small Business Bill, which brings up to 16 the number of times he cut taxes for small business, reduce the capital gains rate to zero for anybody starting their own business or investing in a small business. We've now had nine straight months of private sector job growth in this country. But the president's the first to say it's not enough and we need to do more, we need to get that growth rate up. And that's why he's proposed further policies like investments in infrastructure, more bridges, roads, airports, and the kinds of things our competitor nations are doing, things that make it more attractive for companies to build and expand here in this country, as well as tax incentives for companies to build out factories and buy equipment here at home. So that brings us up to where we are now. And obviously times are tough, and obviously we need to do more. But it has been quite a hole that we've had to crawl out of, the worst since 1929. And now we've started to hear some people say that we literally should go back to the policies that got us into this. And I think if you look at the last three years of history, that doesn't seem like a good idea.